One of the most important parts about being a pilot is keeping the plane well up in the air. And believe it or not, sunglasses play a big part in that. So whether you're a pilot, thinking about becoming one, or just wanna know some interesting facts, stick around, because today you're gonna to learn about the science of polarization and how it affects aviation. Hey everyone, welcome back to the Experience Life through Fuse Lenses YouTube channel. I'm Zach, and this is the destination on YouTube to stay updated on eye health, sun protection, and all things sunglasses. We're optical and sunglass experts, so we know the best and worst types of lenses for all types of activities, including flying. So, can pilots wear polarized lenses? Nope, not when flying the plane. Thanks for watching. It's been a great YouTube video. Uh, coffee five. It's wait, it's not over. Ah, okay, okay. Well, um. Let's get into it, I guess. But why can't they wear them? Well, the long answer is technology that makes polarization so popular is also what makes it dangerous for flying. Polarized sunglasses work by specifically blocking horizontal light waves from passing through the lens, which is a type of light that causes glare. In everyday life, glare is annoying and can hurt your eyes, but in aviation, it's an important thing to take notice of. Say you're taxiing down the runway and see the glare from another aircraft's windscreen through your peripheral vision. That alerts you of their presence, which can help you avoid a major accident. Polarized lenses also affect how you see liquid crystal displays, more commonly known as LCD screens. The screen in the cockpit of a plane is an LCD screen they use for navigation, weather, terrain info, elevation, altitude, ground alerts, and other extremely necessary flight functions. So being able to see that screen properly is crucial, and polarized lenses affect that. Polarization interacts with LCD screens in a weird way. The lenses block out horizontal light, while the screen emits horizontal light. That means they cancel each other out, and you end up seeing, well, almost nothing, as you can see in this example. That's obviously super dangerous, because seeing the screen is vital for being able to safely operate the plane. Another phenomenon, called the rainbow effect, can happen when you look at a screen through polarized lenses. The coating on the screen refracts light or changes its direction and makes you see rainbows. That's great if you're trying to find a pot of gold, but not so much if you're flying a plane. If you want to learn more about the rainbow effect, check out our video, Why Do You See Rainbows in Polarized Sunglasses, which is linked in the description. Drop a comment below if you've ever noticed distortion or rainbows when you look at a screen through a polarized lens. Also, don't forget to like this video, subscribe, and hit the bell so you never miss when we post new ones. Ultimately, when it comes to flying a plane, polarized lenses are a no-go. A lot of people associate sunglasses and pilots with the movie Top Gun, sequel coming out soon, with the lenses Tom Cruise wore or a G15 lens that wasn't polarized. The G15 is a green-gray lens that enhances color contrast and makes it easy to see details against a blue sky. They were actually designed specifically for aviation. So if you're a pilot or just want to look like one, it's something you might want to opt for. But say you fly on the weekdays and do other types of activities on the weekends, in that case, polarized lenses might be a good option for your days off. So while non-polarized lenses are good for pilots, polarized lenses could be right for you if you suffer from eye sensitivity or you spend a lot of time on the road or doing outdoor activities. People who do water and snow sports like fishing, boating, rowing, and skiing are perfect candidates for polarized lenses because so much glare is reflected off water and snow. We have a whole playlist on our channel called Experience Life in the Outdoors with the best sunglass recommendations for different outdoor activities, so make sure to check that out. Whether you're looking at polarized or not, there's different lens colors that work best for different activities, which you can learn about in that playlist too. And if you want to find out more about how they compare to each other, you can check out our video Polarized versus Non-Polarized Sunglasses as well. All of those are listed in the description. Whether you're flying planes, drive cars, or just like to go outside from time to time, there's an option for you at Fuse Lenses. Say you have a pair of sunglasses that are already polarized and they don't necessarily work for your lifestyle. At FuseLenses.com YouTube, it's incredibly easy to replace your lenses while keeping the frames you already have. We offer customized replacement lenses for any brand, style, and preference. Once you find your model on our website, you get to choose from 20 different mirrored and non-mirrored options, colors and gradients, polarization, and prescription all in one. You can learn more about our system in the video Replacement Lens Options, which goes through all of the cool choices we offer on our website. And yes, if you're a pilot or a wannabe pilot, we do have Top Gun G15 lenses. Don't forget, our website and all the videos I mentioned today are linked in the description below. If you learned something new about flying, sunglasses, and lens replacements, we think you'll really enjoy the rest of our channel. Give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit the bell if you want more weekly videos on vision, sun protection, and all things sunglasses. Thanks for watching, and I can't wait to see you in the next one.